But yes, the recording is now up, which means this is your host, Kazaraspel, and welcome to Pokemon Y version. We are currently on game seven of playing all the mainline series games, not counting like um, spin offs like Soul Silver or Fire Red. I don't know if those count as mainline games. I mean, technically, yeah, right? But. <laughs> We're just going to be beginning. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Agostine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others get swim deep in the oceans. We live together with these Pokemon living. Letting our strength more know to live prosper. Let's get started with some quick questions. Am I a boy or a girl? Oh, boy. And what do you look like? I look like none of these people. My hair is wild. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? Did I get that right? Q, très bien. What a fantastic name. Q, your adventure begins now. Your, go meet many Pokemon and fill your life with riches. Go! Also, where was I? What was the void? Like I entered through the door at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts. And dead. Man, just stabbed right at the beginning of the game, bleeding out. Oh, nope, I'm okay. out of my pajamas. Oh, I start with the ability to run right away. That's nice. The little outfit. It is cute. Morning, Q. You sure slept well. All rested up from the move. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? Serena, I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna, great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us. That is a very specific amount of kids. That is a very Five Nights at Freddy's amount of kids. 
But I'm, I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon! Come on, hurry, let's go! over. Why is that even a route? Hey Q! This way! Over here! We were just talking about you! Come on, have a seat! This is the meeting place, Q. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is Q. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on! So cute, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. You know, it feel like we're, we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you Q-Meister? No way, he's a little cute, sure. What do you think, Treasure, Trevor? What? You want me to nickname someone I just met? No, no, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. How about something low key? Maybe something like Big Q? Why don't you decide what we should call you? I mean, I do like that they can give you a nickname, but I think I'll just go for regular Q. Okay, Q fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trebs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. We get the choice between Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki. I'm gonna go with Fennekin. Save Fennekin. Would you like to give a nickname to your Pokemon? Oh, I never thought about a nickname. Ah, uh, let's see. So you decide on the nickname Kurama? Yep. Okay, my partner is Chespin. Wow, we go together great. Two of us are just way a a too cute. Nice to meet you, Froki. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Um, so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. Put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Oh, lie enough, Trev. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, Q, pl please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. Oh, I have to inform her that I'm going. I can't just abandon home. 
All right, we're done with our errand for the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mom before you go. I don't see any of you giving it to your moms. Kill Wayne! You're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut! Okay, little chestman, this is our first battle. Let's win it with style! up your Pokemon. Say hi to your mom for me. Okay, so now that we have some time, what are the stats of my Pokemon? So I believe we have a lax nature. That might be increased speed or increased defense, lowered speed. It's not terrible. The game is drowning me out. Thank you. Is that better? It's nice, uh... <laughs> Like, thank you. I can't tell these things. A little higher on the game? I mean, it's currently a low point. Wait one second, Q. Is that a Pokeball you have there? Lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations! Huh? A letter for me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Wow, what lovely handwriting. Hmm? What do we have here? A request? Oh, I see! Cute! We've barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Fennekin ready for your journey. Here you are, Q. I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends. You met your Pokemon. And now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. Town map. You know how to use a town map, right? Yeah. That's my boy. Select the town map from your bag whenever you want to use it. Why do you tell me how- why do they keep telling me how to do something when I say I know how to do something? I don't know what this Professor Sycamore wants you to see on your trip. But taking a journey with your Pokémon is a really wonderful experience. <laughs> ha 
what a card. I guess Rhyhorn wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. Good luck, you. Go for bro, and don't worry. You'll have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. Yay! You can ride him around the yard and that's it. Hey, Pokemon Trainer! If you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out. But you'll be fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Let them get hurt. Not you. You're important because you're human. Come to learn how to catch Pokemon with me? Serena's mom and dad are amazing trainers. That's why she knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling. Well, mom and dad may be good, but that has nothing to do with me. Okay, now watch carefully, you two. And now we wait. Hydrating. Uh, just gotta wait for them to get done with this. There we go. Little bee was caught. Wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. You have a chest pin. Shauna, what did you think? What do you think of your chestpin in, is inside of right now? <laughs> oh my gosh, she actually commented on that too. Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. You know, I do like it when the game gives me free Pokeballs right away. Pokeballs! Do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? Yes, that's literally what they're made for. Sure! You can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it, and then we'll become friends! When you catch a wild Pokemon, it makes your Pokemon stronger too. This is the gen that introduced getting XP from catching Pokemon. Good luck! When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin! So Gen 6, I... I think I have positive feelings for, but Gen 6 is definitely one of those generations that I only played, like, one time. 
and it's weird because I know, like, I have the cartridge. I I know what, like, I I, pl I know I played it more than once. I even remember doing a nuzlocke, but for some reason, this is during a dead zone in my brain where I don't remember most of Generation Six. I know this is the gen that introduced uh, electric Pokemon being completely immune to paralysis. I know this is the generation that... Uh... Let's see, I'll heal your Pokemon whenever you want. Okay. This is the generation that added fairy types. This is the generation of Mega Evolutions. It's got a lot of things going for it. But for some reason, the actual locales, I don't remember that much. Fighting water types? No, thank you. Oh yeah, this is the gen that's... Let's see. You remember the Pokeball factories and vagaries of the towns, but that's about it. I remember Team Flare. That's all I got. This is the gen that introduced Pikachu actually saying... Pika Pika while all the other Pokemon are completely normal. And they didn't go back on that until what? Pika, Gen... Pika. Gen 9? Or maybe they did it for Gen 8. I do think it's cute how they get into a Pokemon battle. Second Q. Look what I found, Q. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. I don't, I don't understand how that helps, but okay. Youngster Joey! Top percentage of scatterbugs. Cheer up, Scatterbug. We lost this time, but we'll get the next one who comes along for sure. <laughs> no love for the Fletchling, just Scatterbug. Nice things to burn around here. Some good early game XP. Yeah, 
Give me a poke. Here you go. I have plenty of Pokeballs. You just gave me some and I haven't used any yet. Your Pokemon are in for a shock. Oh, do you have a Pikachu? It's level 5, so it might give some nice XP. I don't think it's gonna level me up, though. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, hello, burnable thing! <laughs> the best part about Pokémon battles is that they can happen anytime, with anyone, anywhere! You are never safe! You are never safe! You are never safe! I've got to keep battling and training up my really awesome Pokemon team. Okay. And that's another Pokeball. Man, when we actually find a Pokemon we want to use, we're going to be stocked. I'd be happier if we found like metapods or something. I don't even know if there are metapods in this place. Then again, there might not even be Weedles. Wait, she had a Weedle, but that doesn't mean they're a Weedle. Okay, let's fight one more thing and then move forward. Assuming it levels us up. This should. My attack stat, right? Don't aren't you gonna heal me? I guess not. So you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. 
way Pokemon move, it's just incredible! I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance! Tierno... Could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here! Let's go to Santa Loon City! What are you all gonna do? Why, look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you gonna do, Serena? I'm going to Santa Loon City, City's gym, and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because Mom and Dad taught me so much. Here, I get, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down ten different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. If you are puzzled about something, try looking in these rules. This is great! I'm gonna spend time getting to know my little chest pin. What are you gonna do, Q? Later! Oh. Immediately stopped. I'm gonna. Oh, that's a cute Charizard doll. I'm gonna beat up a preschooler. Let's see, Azubril is not water type yet, so... Ember. Mommy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do it at once. Why are you sending out a Pichu? I've already beaten up a Pikachu. I had to fight a level 5 Pikachu in the forest. Oh, now I'm fighting a baby version that's level 5. Pichu, did we lose? Pichu is knocked out. Badoof. I don't use my attack stat. Burn. Potion, that's very nice. Oh, are you gonna have the three, uh, three monkeys? That's kind of cool. I assume. Oh, 
I don't think it should have water gun yet. Okay, I've been I've had my attack lowered so much I think it would be stronger if I did Ember. Yeah, plus my special attack is higher. Wow, that move packs a punch alright. I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Yep. Oh, hey there, Q. Are you, are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon Center sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter and have her heal your Pokemon. You can even deposit your Pokemon you've caught to that PC. You know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Oh, yeah, Q. There's a Pokemart in the back of a Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemart, too. See what you got. Pokeballs and potions. Okay. Welcome! If you'd like, check the items at the back of the shop. Oh, there's just different hats. Okay. Oh god, that's right, they cost an arm and a leg. No thank you, I need my, uh... I need my money for heals right now. told me that if I buy, if I get gym badges, I can buy more things. That's nice. face of town. Yes, indeed. Take this with you on your way. I got x tax Okay. Oh, take this as well. x defenses Yes, they are for Pokemon battles. By knowing which items to use during the right moment of battle, a trainer can save his or her partner at a pinch. Even if you catch a wild Pokemon, your, your team's Pokemon will still grow. I know it because one of my Pokemon leveled up when it was fighting a battle like that. Okay. I thought this might be uh, the gym, but it's not. It's the school. Is this the gym? Hey, stranger! Is it cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of roller skates? And how about that? How about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. You don't even know my size. Yes, I do. Want a battle? Sure. Whether, a po whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. I mean, true.
I was expecting a quick attack, but no. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. Wow, that was amazing! You might even be stronger than a gym leader! Alright, here you go, one spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions on your new pair of roller skates, okay? Let's see. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get where those wheels are going. Yeah, so now it's basically just a run. Like, it's faster than run. What's the hustle, little Crustle? Welcome to Santa Loon City Gym. So, future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be, no worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side, and really, they're the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right, right? Jump on that pole there and you'll be on your way to the gym leaders waiting for you. Whoops, but wait before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses Bug-type Pokemon, got it? Okay, let's take a look around, see if we can get some more level up first. I know that they use bug types and I have the advantage. But I still, like, if I can level up, I should. You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from Sycamore, right? That Fennekin you got there looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, head over to the gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. Okay, can't go that way. I know there's like a way to boost yourself if you spin. I learned all my Pokemon battling techniques from Viola, the gym leader. I mean, I'm twice its level, but still. Walking into any water type is, uh... Scary. be doing special attacks.
Burn the baby! Come on, Goldie! Oh no, more water types. Fine, as long as the water Pokemon forget that they're water Pokemon. Like, I keep fretting about the opponent using water-type moves, but they're... they're not. <laughs> Pokemon battling just a hobby for you? Or do you want to become a pro? I want to... I mean, I don't want to become a pro, but I do want to beat the champion. Is that the same? You know what this is, right? It's the beginning of a Pokemon bat. I mean, I guess. Trainer's Metapod is definitely going to be nice for, uh, for that games. I mean, not the nicest, I guess, but it would have been nice if it was a higher level. I do like how snappy the battles are. They, they load incredibly, like, they're, they're going incredibly fast.
Bumblebee Bumblebee's the only Pokemon I got. I realized that when I beat you up. This gate is the entrance to Victory Road. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I just wasted that potion because it looks like I have to go battle the gym leader now. But hey, we got a couple of level ups. Oh, what do you know? There's still some trainer left. La baby. Still kind of weirded out that it's not a grass type. Okay, it might be, it might have higher uh, special defense, so I'm gonna go for the physical attack. got a super potion. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. I mean, it is cool that we're beginning Gen 6 with already possibly one of the most dangerous looking gyms I've ever seen. Oh no, tightrope walking just seems... Ugh. Do you have any idea how quickly Bug-type Pokemon evolve? I mean, pretty fast. Spupa. Do you have any idea how fast bug Pokemon burn?
close. Oh well, I'm not gonna go back and train. If I lose, sure, but nah. That, ex that determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic! Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic, this'll be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. Ooh, I forgot this song. Oh no, it's a water bug type! I'm gonna use Flame Charge to try to get more speed than their next Pokemon. Oh no! Water Sport's actually really bad right now. She says fantastic a lot. Is she studying for a theoretical degree in physics? Oh wow, you are quiet, Mr. Muffinberry. Hold on, I, I think I need to adjust that. G give me one second, guys. I didn't realize uh, when I edited some things, it made Mr. Muffinberry more quiet. How you feeling? How you feeling now, dude? This is a test. I mean, can you guys still hear me very well? Sorry, everything. Yeah, everything is still scrambled uh, because I switched from DS to 3DS. Okay. We'll go with this for now, then. I need water sport to end now. He's slightly on the quiet side. He's at max volume. I, I can't do anything else. Water sport has ended, yes! And that deals damage every turn. I really hope that didn't screw me out of anything. Don't you hate it when uh, you, you level up too much? <laughs> I got Psy Beam, so I think I'm gonna be okay. Karama is evolving! Congratulations on your victory and new fox. Yay! <laughs> yes, 
Young trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Brakeson have shown me a whole new depth of field. The Brakeson didn't do anything. I mean, kinda? I don't know, that's weird to say. <laughs> fantastic, just fantastic. I mean, yeah, what, the Brakeson technically did do it all because it was the Fennekin. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep, even the ones you get from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a, a pro photog like me. Let's see, Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to 1-1000 can snap shut. TMs are some of the best gear around. They're point and click easy. You can just use them over and over again. Now the TM I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it, it'll be impossible for your Pokemon... Uh, yeah, I almost said a Pokemon. For your opponent to, feel for, to flee from battle. Now then, can you zoom in a bit to check out the tent behind me? Take the stairs that you find beyond it, and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. Whoa! -ho -ho! Would you look at that bug badge? Nice, very nice, future champ. I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you uh, heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up to the Pokemon Lab in Lumio City and show it to him, huh? Her whole existence was a pun. Are the other gym leaders like that? Quite possibly. Because she was a shutterbug? Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon- yeah. Got a bug badge? Beat Viola at such a young age. You really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa. The gym leader you just faced, Viola, is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? EXP share! If you have an EXP share and turn it on, all of the Pokemon on your team get EXP points. Even if they don't appear in battle. I hope it helps with your training. I work for a big publishing house up in Lumio City. Feel free to stop by anytime if you have the next big scoop to share with me. Yeah, so this is the uh, generation that introduced the best EXP shares. Toggleable. Yep. Oh yeah, it is toggleable. If you go to your key items and go to EXP share, you can just set off. On. Man, what a concept! Let's see, anything over here? 
We don't need any Pokemon from this route, so... I'm warning ya, youngster! My Corphish here has some sharp pincers! Oh god. I thought he would have had Grass-type Pokemon. But luckily, Kurama now has a new ability. Psybeam! Brakeson and the Evolution is a Psychic Fire type. Which is a really fun combination. Like, uh, it has a widespread of things it can hit. A fountain. Yep. Really pretty. Poison Barb if I decide to get a Poison type. Which I actually think one of the po- yeah, one of the Pokemon I'm going to get is a Poison type. I've already determined the- once again, I've already determined the Pokemon I'm going to get for this one. Because it's a list of Pokemon I've never used before. The same as every other game since the third generation, I believe. I like Breaks and Splare. That's a fun uh, special attack animation.
More core fishes. Is it because of the pincers? It's gotta be, like, the plant shears. Hello there! Have you heard of a Pokémon called Flapebe? Oh, I see. It's registered in your Pokédex. That's what I would expect from one of the professor's hand-picked Pokémon trainers. Flapebe is, now brace yourself, a Fairy-type Pokémon! Fairy-type is a new... This turned the entire ma type matchup system on its head. Has anyone ever used an Aether? I used one in the last game. Like, uh, when Rocky Road started running out of ice beams uh, during the Elite Four battles. I actually used an Aether. And we've been battling Fairy-type Pokémon against all other types of Pokémon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. You say so? I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore trusted me with a Pokédex. You could call me a Pokémon Voy... Voyage veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. No, I'm not done. I thought you guys would just want to battle. Generation 6 also removed the, uh, the scaled leveling of the previous game, so it's now still worthwhile to beat up Pokemon at any time you want. Rather than, oh, I'm over their level, time to move on. They got rid of that system. The weird time period when Pikachu had the anime voice and not a sound. Yeah, I prefer Pikachu with the Pikachu sound, not the Pika Pika. Because that's just weird in comparison to every other Pokemon. Like, if other Pokemon had it, it might be less weird. But it's all of them. <laughs> like, it's just Pikachu. I think I got just about everything uh, here, so 
Let's go forward. If you like, you should... Oh, wait, hold on. I want to make sure I, I save. It saves way faster than Gen 5. So, how are you and Brakeson getting along? The more you walk around with your Pokemon, the stronger your friendship will become. Here, this is the TM for return. This move gets more powerful when you're friendship with the Pokemon using it is strong. Right through this gate, you'll be in Lumio City. Go on already. ahead and wait for you in front of the lab. Follow her, follow her that way to the lab. I love the scope of uh, Lumio City. Like, I know it's just a ring and it, like, it, it functions about the same as other Pokemon places, but due to the camera angle, like, it's, it's big and you got Pokemon running around. Like, you can see this fur throw. And it's really cool. I, I love how the 3DS was able to bring this to life. This building is the Sycamore Pokemon Lab. Let's go inside. You've traveled a long way from Veneville Town. But you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor. So hop in the elevator. So, we finally meet. Fantastic! You're here! Come this way, won't you? Many thanks for coming all the way to Vanneville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How's your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me see... Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm, 34 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos then. Oh, the pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. Well now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanneville Town, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. About then, I learned that the Rhyhorn racer Grace and her son were moving it here. Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it, then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic! Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me! Shall we start the battle? Just so you know, I'm not that tough.
time. Your turn. Side beam. <laughs> You're too much for me. You're really something, aren't you? I think I've about figured it out. Figured what out? Q, you are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one! Uh, let's see... I might take Bulbasaur just for a cut option, you know? I already have a Pokemon planned for Surf. You picked Bulbasaur then, I see, that's simply wonderful. Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? No. Oh, I see. You're not going to give your Pokemon a nickname then. Since you chose Bulbasaur, I'll give you this Mega Stone. Thanks. Come now, you two. Pick your Pokemon. Take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone else will show up soon. Hi, hi Professor Sycamore. What's this? Everyone's already here? See? Well, well, I'm sorry. I thought he was going to say welcome, but wonderful. Everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon! Also, I want to ask for your help in solving Kalos Region's biggest Pokemon mystery! The secret and potential of Mega Evolution! A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue! Mega Evolution? What should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad! If that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Campfire Town? Campfire? Campfire. Like campfire, okay. That town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Now listen. If you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own. And think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. I feel that being different from others makes me special. Mastering Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. It will? Like, really, it will? Because I'm telling you, most big trainers in the region use Mega Evolution. Okay. Well, see you guys later. Oh, sweet. False light. That's... that might be useful. Can I just get rid of you? You're kind of annoying. So I will be able to meet them soon, then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Q. Q? Come here a sec. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. 
That's a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysandre. I'm not sure, is it Lysandre or Lysander? I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it's vital that this world becomes a better place. And the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire. It is for a more beautiful world. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. Q, there's a place I want to go check out, so I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting in Cafe Soleil, neighbor. I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Thank you. I'm going to Camp Friar Town. Leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That Cafe Soleil Serena was talking about is over that way too. You got it. Okay, can I... Nope. Lumio City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna have a little walk. The streets sure wind and wander here. Oh, just so you know, Camp Prior Town and Cafe Soleil are over this way. Okay, can I get rid of that now? Okay. PR. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, there's the Poke Center. Been to the cafe already? No. Here it is. Could you come here for a second? Oh, it's Lysander, and is that Diantha? Just so you know, neighbor, Lysander is the head of the Lysan of Lysander Labs, which created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. You already know who, who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever? and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. 
I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Q. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars of Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. Which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me. And who are you two? Uh, my name's Serena, and this is... Q, right? I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokémon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Hmm. I guess if you're a Pokémon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Oh, that's right. I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me to see which of us will become stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after you arrived in Vanneville. But we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Bye. I don't even get to nod yes. Just bye. Let's see, let's do a quick lap. Oh. I'm sorry, there's a blackout. You can't go any further until it's fixed. Alright. We have we can't go all the way around. I wanna look on the town map really fast, because there is a route I'm looking for. We're going to be heading to Route 5. So check this out. I'm on Route 5 right now, and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Or it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry, come check it out. Hey! Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard about O-Powers? The expression of yours tells me you have it. Don't worry, I'll tell you all about it. O-Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of useful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They're truly mysterious powers. Let's get started, shall we? It's Bondi time. Thanks. Attack power increases the attack stat, and defense power increases the defense stat. That's not all. The powers can gain levels the more you use them. T Take a look at instructions if you want to know more. Remember, you can activate O-Powers using the PSS. Well then, I do believe I shall take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. That is a Lucario. Wait! Lucario! Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Huh, well it seems Lucario likes you. Thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. 
I'm Corina, the Shalor City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Yeah, grinding. That Pokemon gives a lot of XP. People say we're like two peas in a pod. They say we're two abs of a hole. Oh, I've... I never put away Bulbasaur, so I guess we're having double battles now. I don't plan on using Bulbasaur for very long, but hey, I'm okay with having it in the party for the time being. Bye-bye, my nut. Sorry, I needed to hydrate there. My goodness! Pokemon hordes are certainly intense. Yeah, they're made... They're just like a dance team made up of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, dear, no. Do you think about anything other... Anything besides dancing? Nope. Even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just start moving, too. I can't help it, you know? like good swords dance. I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. 
Oh, hey, it's Q. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in battle. This guy was introduced to Generation 2 early. Honestly, I don't even think he was introduced to Generation 2 early. I know you're going to be referencing the, yeah, the bird, the, the dancing bird, but honestly, can we just talk about the fact that his starting Pokemon is not a Lotad? Like, give the man a Ludicolo at the least. Maybe a smooch him because Jinx dances? Some nice footwork. Good to see you, Q. I, I, excuse me, I meant Q. It really does seem as though Tierno can only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs! Coming up with the world's best Pokemon dance is my dream, after all. I was born to dance. I will never stop, not with moves like this. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. I guess I should show just as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex then. It's good to be serious about some things. Oh, uh, Q, take this honey, won't you? You see, using honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. Though, if you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets. Yeah, I don't have any interest in uh, summoning hordes right now. Let's see, we still have flame charge so we can charge right through this thing. Because Kadabra has really low physical defense. Super Potion. No, I can't go up that way. See what's over here. Hornberry. So 
so adorable. Sorry I killed you. So far, my revisit through the sixth generation is very positive one. They have, like, don't get me wrong, it's not that I hated the, uh, the fifth generation. But it just feels like by now, in the fifth gen, they were forcing me to, uh, learn about the movie studio. Like, you know, it. this feels like just a, a normal Pokemon adventure. Though, to be fair, we've already been introduced to the obvious villain of the game who is completely off his rocker. Hone Claws! Goblin zero one. Thank you for the raid. Can you get a shout out? Hello. Hope you enjoy your time in the chat. You were playing Nexomon Extinction. Hello I there. Thank you. Yep, hello. Yeah, I played Nexomon Extinction before. It was it was a really good game. Like if you're interested in if you're interested in more uh, more Pokemon fun, you you will enjoy that. <laughs> You were getting a laugh out of it? I mean, yeah, it's silly. It's silly. It knows exactly what it is. While keeping the uh, formula relatively the same. You wonder if you should look into it more? If you're, like, look, if you have a Pokemon itch and you can't wait until the next gen, then Nexomon is a good choice. I, I'm going to be that guy and say I prefer Nexomon over Temtem. It's so good for something like it, though, you must admit. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, for what it is, it's solid.
22. Let's learn Fire Spin. Am I going to I don't think I'm going to learn Fire Spin. You have to go get groceries. That's fine. Have, have fun getting uh, groceries. And if you decide to stop in later, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. Stream will be up later on YouTube if you're interested in watching it some more. Thank you for using the Holocaster! Lysander Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers. <coughs> oh, sorry, coughed. Oh, I ate some popcorn earlier. <coughs> oh, this is a very terrible ad, isn't it? <coughs> the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fullier, fullier, yeah, fullier, and more convenient! We hope you'll continue to enjoy the fine services this device provides. town where you can taste the ages. Where, where can I taste them? Like the food? You there. You're seriously going to come all the way to Camp Friar Town and leave without even visiting Shabanotish Castle? You're missing out on half the joy in life. Or, well, maybe not half a quarter. Hmm, that's probably overblowing it too. One percent. You're missing at least one percent. Thank you! An acquaintance of yours? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was her. An acquaintance of yours? Two visitors to Shabanoa Castle? I can't remember the last time we've been so busy. This castle, chateau if you will, was a manor house of a noble family. It may be a little run down, but that's because there's history to this place. During that history, the owners of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff to everyone. So that's why it feels so empty. The end. And it's definitely not because the developers just simply chose not to put anything here. That's it? Don't you have anything related to Mega Evolution? That's it. What in the world is Mega Evolution? Sir, it's back again! Is it that time of year already? Well, there's nothing I can do about that now. I need to go to Route 7, but please take your time and have a look around. I wonder what that's about. Why don't we go to Route 7 too? Why did we come here to begin with? Mega Evolution is a thing that doesn't exist, NPC fighter guy. Yeah. I mean, in this generation, it does exist. It's future generations it doesn't exist. It's a thing that won't exist in the future. They said they were going this way. Okay. Hey, mister, this way, this way. You. I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Berries are great. One berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll love field work. Please! No. Oh, come on! No. Please! Okay. Oh, great. Uh, oh, your name is Q? Thank you, Q. Hooray! That's great, Grandpa! Hooray, we found someone to do the field work for us. Plant things. I 
I got a sprinkle tad. My back has been killing me lately and I just can't garden like I used to. We live in the house at the corner of the field. Bye. Q, what is it? <coughs> Here we go again. It's sleeping so soundly at the end of the world when wake it. Look, it's practically a mountain, right? It's blocking the road completely. Come now, sir. Use the poke flute. Oh, wait. Do you even have it anymore? Nope. I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. Huh? What? What's a poke flute? Basically, the poke flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. But the poke flute is currently at Parfum Palace. Oh, that's it? All we need to do is go get it then. Come on, Q, let's go. The Parfum Palace is just past Route 6. And maybe at a place like that, we might learn something about Mega Evolution. I love how she's just like, man, you know that subject no one knows about? I wonder if everyone knows about it. Be gone, non-existent weather effects. Flame charge this one. If you have low physical fence. Remember my Gardevoir? Yeah, what what about what about her? What was her name? Aurora? Generation 3? Guys, don't ask me to remember all of my po- Oh, hey, Bulbasaur, you're evolving. I have not used you, really, but okay. But yeah, I, I- I- Don't ask me to remember all of my Pokemon from all of the games I've played so far.
You remember how she carried my team a lot? Oh yeah, Gardevoir is, a, in, is an amazing Pokemon. I know it's kind of a meme to talk about Gardevoir in a way, but uh, like Gar Gardevoir in general is just a really solid special defense, a high special defense Pokemon and a high special attack Pokemon. Making like Calm Mind just obnoxiously good. Hello, sir. I'm a child. Can I go into the mansion? The entrance fee will be 1,000 poke dollars per person. You've got to be kidding. It costs money to go inside? You see, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh, this is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee, 1,000. The proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace. Probably. I did not get a choice. They robbed me. It. Where could it be? My Furfro! My beloved Furfro has disappeared! It disappeared? Hey Q, you should help look. I mean, if my, if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Alright. Could probably find it in the garden. I'll have a look in back. Let's see, where would it be? There. Please don't run away. Q, give me a hand. That path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up and chase Furfro and corner it there. I'll, I'll keep it from getting away, so pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like over there, over there. Let me know when you decide where I should stand. this thing. No, it would be best if you waited right here. You know what I think? 
This is a puzzle. We have to corner it where the path leads to a dead end, right? Maybe I should wait by the entrance. Why would you wait there? It would just... I mean, I guess. Are we close to cornering it? Maybe it should be... Oh, okay. But why didn't it just go left? Phew, well done. We finally caught it. Q, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel? No, because I need your help, apparently. Oh, my dear Furthrow! My beloved Furthrow! Could you two be responsible for my wonderful reunion with my dear Furthrow? How wonderful! <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm allergic to that bad pun. It's marvelous! Simply marvelous! A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom, boom! My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with tremendous fireworks display. And will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous. You can reach the balcony from the hall with the mirrors on the second floor. Also, I think it's a very bad idea. Maybe Furfur would have been better off if we hadn't found it. I mean, yeah, they're... <laughs> if I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that. Wow, rude. But also, I agree because Furfro is a dog. And we're about to launch fireworks. Which, I don't know dogs that like fireworks. But I really love fireworks. So let's make the best of it. coin nice that's gonna make up for the money they spent that I spent to get in here watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Are we having a moment? We haven't seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Q. Wow, that was amazing! 
I never ever want to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. And that was for my wonderfro fireworks show for my furfro. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot! That's right! We need the flute to wake up Snorlax! Huh. The Poke Flute, huh? Go get it. It was Chabonet Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just don't go together. Give it to them. Here is the Poke Flute. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the Palace Library, and it had something to do with what you'd, you'd now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you'd have this. Neat. If I want stall strats, that's actually f good. Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's moves. But if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it not working increase. If you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. The owner of Shabano Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? I don't care, really. We we have to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. Okay. I love how I said that Generation 6 so far has been, you know, just a standard Pokemon adventure. And then we did that, and I'm just like, man... I'm not that emotionally invested in children. <laughs> so you know what? This isn't this is really doing nothing for me. Can we can we just speed it along? Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the poke flute? Yes. Thanks. Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Snorlax opened its eyes wide! Oh, that could be problematic.
on, confuse it, please. Oh, that hurts. Luckily, I do have uh, super potions. bad. This thing is becoming tanky. Snorlax fled toward the mountains. I wonder where Snorlax went. The mountains. Think it will come sleep here again? Oh. The only thing I can do with that poker flute is put it on display. But if you're playing since you were little, then the tone is lovely. Seems like my furfro likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful, wonderful fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past the, where Snorlax was sleeping. The daycare. Oh, hey Q! Trev said he wants to check out the Pokemon daycare. Come, jo come with us. Can I leave? <laughs> this is the Pokemon daycare. They take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right. Sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. I have the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my, da my dance up. How about you, Q? Some other time. There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm gonna go look for some Pokemon for my dance team. Hey, wait! Tierno, wait up! You know water gun. Okay. I, I wasn't sure how high your special attack style was.
Double smear goal. Wow, your 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 phys, your uh, special attack is that bad, isn't it? I was slightly worried because it was super effective. Do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Oh no, I'm not healed. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up, hmm? Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Q and me. No. Oh, I get it. You don't just charge him blindly into battle, do you? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that hurt, but I also am not that healthy. I have like, no, no power points left. If it was just health, I'd use a potion. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? You just want the two strongest people against... <laughs> I, I don't know what people refer to as Tierno and Trevor. Because it's like, they're clearly the weakest of, the, of our group. Like, Shauna's the weak rival, but these two are weaker than her.
Ooh, good strat to use sword stance before a uh, physical move. Every battle, just Psybeam. More Psybeam. <laughs> Whoa, now that was a nice move. So he can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. And then using Amulet Coin, I robbed my friends even more. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess we should head off to Ambrit Town then. Okay, the crow gunks need to need to realize that uh, I'm quadruple effective against them. We're not. something new. Let's see, what is... Like, if that's the cave to Ambred Town, what's this cave? We have to head this way. Oh, thank you. Stop right there. <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Breaksome doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. The Coastal Kalos Pokedex was added to Q's Pokedex. Okay. New encounters help people in Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage!
Okay, so let's see. We don't need an NK, but this is where we're going to get our first teammate. It's not Spoink. Here we go. Me and Fu. So guys, I'm gonna need a name for a me and Fu. Pie pie like uh, <laughs> like Dragon Ball. I kind of like the name Sleeves. Like especially when they evolve, it's gonna it's gonna be much better. I think Tao Pai Pai is a good name, though. For the record. Well, we got an adamant me and Fu. Raised attack, lowered special attack. Yeah, that's the best kind of me and Fu we could have. Definitely saving now. I could just go back into the cave. I was thinking if I should heal heal him up, but yeah, we can just go back into the cave. Okay, the next Pokemon on the list. Okay, we're not gonna get the next Pokemon for a little while.
mean, Haxor's is pretty threatening, but an Axew, not so much. Come on, that's a 55% chance. Uh. Okay. Good, good try. Good try. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, I needed to switch. I'm still confused. Back to heal. Oh my.
I'm not gonna have Surf for a long while, so I don't know what multi-hitting move I really have for my current team. As much as I would love to throw sleeves out against you, Absol, I I don't like he doesn't have any uh, fighting type moves. But still, you give a lot of basic speed, so it's good to kill you anyway. something weak to psychic damage. Cleve wants to learn double slam. Ah, 
Hi there, neighbor. This is Ambrett Town. You just go through the aquarium to get to Sillage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to mega evolution. You know, going to an archaeologist to learn about, you know, rocks. I mean, you would think geologists, but archaeologists is still a step, in, step above what, uh, oh, what's her name Shauna was thinking of? Welcome, future archaeologists. You were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. My name is Serena, and this is Q. We're researching Mega Evolution. We were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say. I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of the professor, you must know about Pokemon fossils, correct? Yeah. Wonderful! I expect no less from Professor Sycamore's students. That's right. Fossils are the legacy of prehistoric Pokemon. You should really go to the dig site and see the real thing firsthand. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then... Hold on. Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. My assistant in Glittering Cave right now might know about that. What should I do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should talk to that assistant. Are you going to Glittering Cave? Yep. Is there a gym here? I'm getting scared. Like, we, I only have the badge that Pokemon up to level 30 will obey me. I, I'm scared that, um, like, I'm gonna get above level 30 and then it's... I wonder if my Pokemon will disobey me, because I know in some games they do, some games they don't. There are just random wild Rhyhorn that I'm very good at convincing to work for me.
Back it up, back it up. Horn moves so slowly. Oh, look, a sand dial. Again, very nice. I, I was afraid I'd have to go all the way back. Okay, but we found Glittering Cave. Oh, that's, that's weird. I do like it, though. Cave with wild Pokemon. Oh, it's kind of neat. This kind of imagination went with Pokemon, just like, just the mystery element. Like, there's a wild Pokemon right here. Cubone. Shadow Claw. Oh, wow. I wonder if uh, Sleeves is able to learn that. No. Darn.
What's this? Well, well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer is come poking around. Listen up, we're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair! Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? No? Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things. But if you insist, I'll obliterate you! Get him, Houndour! Zubat. Let's, let's see how Sleeves does against the Zubat. Oh, it must have inner focus. Oh, I can't win then. It prevented flinching. beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer. Or you're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flair. Oh, that's right. He, uh, Sleeves has the ability that whenever they switch out to another Pokemon, they get healed a little bit. Definitely not learn Lucky Chan. You weren't supposed to beat me. Yay, more money from fools. We're Team Flair. We put fashion into fear. We're looking for fossils, but discovered a kid. Two. Oh. Those two are members of Team Flair. 
Well then, are you ready to team up and battle them? No. You know they're both physical attackers, right? Try that, you just healed it! Slowly Sleeves is becoming a good member. We just need Sleeves to learn a fighting move. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. That was a Pokemon. Did you find him? Why, hello, here to look for fossils as well? Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that, a Pokemon? Don't worry about it. it. Looks like he was completely absorbed in looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just found two fossils. But they're both ones I already have, so I'll give one to each of you. So you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? And we're going to grab the sail fossil. Is this the fossil you want? Yeah.
Well then, I'll take this one. I'll restore those fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the fossil lab. Hope to see you there. We went looking for the assistant and we found that suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running around. In that case, I guess the best thing to do is to challenge the Sealage City Gym. Okay, and it will be a long way back, so I'm going to use that escape rope. for something. Okay, I want I'm, I think we should break that rock over there. Care for a sky battle? I don't have flying Pokemon. Almost out. Okay. What should we name it? I restored the fossil you gave me, turning it back into a Pokemon. This is Amora. Please take good care of it. So now we have to give Amora a new name. It's going to be like... A rock, a rock ice dinosaur that shimmers like the rainbow and it's pure ice type. Well, not pure ice type, but uses a heck ton of ice moves. Let's see, Na ice names. Hmm. 
don't mail. Would they get mad at me? Probably. No, no. Now let's see if you're any useful. You have lowered defense, no, no, increased defense, lowered speed, which is actually fine. No, wait. Yeah, increased defense, lowered speed. Like, they have, they have different angles for each Pokemon Center, and that's just cute. Big Magikarp. Is it winking? Yeah, one, one eye is open, the other eye is closed. the dousing machine for you. I have not been using it. For this, I can find items I can't see with no trouble. I don't need one, but thank you. Should have given uh, sleeves a chance. More confusion.
Now, if you're gonna keep throwing out poison types, I'm gonna keep out my psychic type. I've been saying the third tentacle would have worked for sure. Okay, sleeves, can you handle this? Really? I'm going to try to boost my attack. Okay, I don't use physical attack anyway. Beam! Where's the center? <laughs> Free super potion. There's the sun.
Come right this way. What timing, young man? Did you know that you are ten thousand and first customer since we opened the shop? Yes, you are lucky number ten thousand and one. If you had been number ten thousand, then you could have gotten a free bicycle. But as a runner-up, you could still get the chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. Do bicycles come in more than one color? Yeah. Which color? Okay, so we got ourselves a bike now. No, they said there was a gym here, didn't they? Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. I feel bad you missed it. Here, allow me to give you the strength HM in consolation. If one of your Pokemon uses the move, it'll be able to push large rocks around. However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, first you'll need the badge from the gym I run in this city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come challenge me at your leisure. Alright, that's where, that, where I'm going. Okay, we need strength in order to get uh, back. I know we don't need a Zubat. The problem is, I don't really have a good Pokemon to handle this part. Because Sleeves has no fighting moves. Isaac just, I mean, pure ice type. Not good against rock type. But we'll see. This is the rock type Pokemon gym, but you already figured that out, am I right? Rock types are great. We weak to steel, water, and all kinds of things. Now check out that wall. You can climb if you start from one of those blue spots. Left, right, up, down. You'll need to climb each, every which way to reach the gym leader.
Let's see, saying you play this game, you are vaguely reminded of some areas, but other areas, you're like, is this how it was? I mean, this is how it was. It's up to you to determine if this is what you played. Once learned Swift. Okay, I I'm sorry. I'm gonna Google really fast to see uh, when sleeves will get a new. A a new fighting type move. Twenty nine. Oh. Oh, no. YouTube recommended all admin battles for this game. I don't know what that means. What are all admin battles? I... what? Team player? I mean, I'm gonna fight all admins, eventually. They're on to you? Oh, that you're saying because you're watching my Twitch stream that they're <laughs> you're now being advertised through YouTube. Oh, by the way, Isaac, I named the uh, the rainbow ice cube dinosaur after you. gonna try to make it work it's your favorite fossil you just wish you had a chance to use it it's a very weird Pokemon okay I'm gonna be honest it again I've never used it and it's not a very great Pokemon but I'm sure going to use it kind of knew it wasn't that good. 
But, oh yeah, I love the design of it too. I just wish it was better. And that being said, it's still not bad. It's just one of those Pokemon I'm gonna need to work on a bit. Let's see, it kind of looked like they stretched the hiker's face. They did. The thing is, guys, um, if the game looks a little stretched, it's because it is because um, it, it just looks that way on my capture. Okay, like, it, it's not supposed to be that way, but it it's the only way that fit on my stream. So, you're watching the widescreen version. don't have an answer to Soul Rock. And if the other one's Lunatone, I really don't have an answer for that. Have Ivysaur? No, I'm not counting Ivysaur as part of my team. Ivysaur was not planned to be part of the team. I just got it because it was free. I guess Isaac could try. This ain't working. You had no idea it requires a specific condition to evolve? It does? Oh no. Is it I have to put my 3DS in the freezer? Level 39 at night, yes. However, if you notice, I am currently always playing <laughs> at 3 o'clock in the morning.
Yeah, I'll be fine. was horrible. This is, I kid you not, this might be the hardest gym that we go through. Like for quite a while because we have no Pokemon that is good against rock. We have things that can work, but for some reason this gym isn't just Geodudes and Onyxes, it's Relicants. It, it's it's all these like weird Pokemon, Soul Rock, Lunatone, like actually good rock types. I like the added challenge. I just did not set up my team to handle this. Oh, Thunder Wave? Well, I do have Paralysis Heal. I might be okay unless I get really unlucky. Oh, that was a range. Okay. Okay, Isaac. Prove your worth. Beam! You really like the Gen, gen Three was a good Gen in general. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. So the 
first Pokemon. Oh, I'm still paralyzed. Darn it. Why did I... that burn. You have Thunder Wave! Why do you have Thunder Wave? You are an Ice Rock Dinosaur! I'm more impressed that you can learn it at all! Got a taser. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I don't think it would have any rock type moves at this time. I've been wrong. Yeah, keep missing. Okay, next is Tyrant. So we actually have a counter to Tyrant, possibly. Because Tyrant is Rock Dragon. I could just die. <gasps> Look, it's not my plan to use the eye of a sword, but I will. this by healing. Is that how I want to win?
You have proven to be a wall that I am unable to surmount. Oh, that was an ugly fight. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it is important that you never give up, no matter the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. With the Cliff Badge in your grasp, you should have no issues working together with Pokemon up to level 40. This applies even to Pokemon you've received from other people in trade. And that's not all. You also get this. And we get Rock Tomb, which I am definitely teaching to, uh, to Isaac. With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rocks at its target, not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target's speed. Now that you've become a master wall climber and conquered this gym, it's time you thought about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself, as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, that's when you'll be truly able to smile. Two gyms down so far. And three Pokemon collected. I need to look up, uh, let's see, the next note I have is that our next Pokemon is found at Route 10. We're about to hit Route 9. Oh no, this is Route 10. That means they're here. Catch one. All right, caught ourselves, go let. Like I said in Generation 5, I never used one of these things myself, but I didn't have enough, like, go let shows up way too late in Generation 5 to appreciate. So now we're going to use one in Gen 6, kind of like how I caught uh, me and Fu. Do we have a name? Let's see, giant fighting robot. Hmm. 
Gundam. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking, okay, we might go Gundam, maybe Megas XLR, I don't know. You really wish they showed a picture? Unfortunately, there is a little picture. It turns into a giant robot. That's uselessly tiny, I know. It's a golem? No, golem is golem. This is absolutely a robot. <laughs> it just runs on ghosts. Gigantor. Oh, you think it's Basil? Ar Archeron? Uh... I might go with Gigantor then. The thing is, the first form isn't that big, but it does get big. second. Catch another one. So, the one we caught right now, it has the ability. No, no, look at its ability. Klutz. The Pokemon can't use any held items. The ability I want is called Iron Fist, which makes all moves that have the word punch in it deal 20% more damage. So, unfortunately, we may we may have to capture a couple of them. We can name them after a whole bunch of punching robots.
Oh, come on! The Eevee's like the rarest thing here! I promise you, like, the Golette is supposed to be one of the most common things here, and I just, I'm just not getting it. Here's one. There we go. It has increased speed and lowered special defense, but it powers up punching moves. good, but it is already one of the slowest Pokemon imaginable. It's like, it, it does, it helps, but not that much. Time for my notes. There's only two Pokemon left on the list, obviously. One of them is found back at Route 8. However, we need the Good Rod to get it, which is found in Comarine City, which uh, we'll get, like, as, if we keep going down this route, we'll get it before we uh, return back to... Uh, like, I, I could show you guys. You feel like if you looked up Golet's line online, they'd probably tell you to get a nature for minus speed and plus attack. No, like, you always want, if you get an attacking type Pokemon, you always want boost to attack power minus to special attack like what why would you want minus to speed unless you were going for some wonder room strats okay i'll sh i'll show you guys where our pokemon are going to be Okay, so this is Route 10, where, where we just caught Golette. This is Geosenge City. Here's Shalor City. And here's Colmarine City. So we have to get Colmarine City right here. That's going to be before we hit this part of uh, Lumio City. And then we can go back to Route 8, which is here. And uh, we use the good rod there. Then, for the next Pokemon, though, we're going to need to head here. Route 15. So, I, I, I mapped it out so that we get Pokemon throughout the game before hitting the end game, you know? Oh, 
Also, I have it, I'm going to throw this out there. It was never intentional to get an all-male team so far. gonna be a Zoomeril. Um I don't really have anything good against it. Wow. A Zoomeril counter. doesn't have any fairy moves. I know, right? It probably does. It might have rollout, too. It might use... It might use defense curl rollout. Oh my god, it's doing this! Ah! We have to kill it now. Oh wait, my rocky helmet will kill it. Good. Megas, let's go. Megas, punch. Oh, come on. You do not have that low of accuracy. Mega Punch doesn't have 100% accuracy, but come on! Wow, two, two, two ancient power boots. Oh, you 
yawny little... You got three ten percent chance of ancient power boost. And I couldn't hit you with Mega Punch. <laughs> Dunsparce gave me a lot more trouble than I expected. Yeah. RNG is a cruel, cruel thing, I know, right? Now I'm fighting a Pokemon that I really struggled with uh, choosing not to put on my team. You think you only used an X item once? I, I have considered using X items before. They do come in handy if your Pokemon is tanky and you're having trouble getting through an opponent who's healing. Like if you don't have a buff move, and your opponent is doing nothing but, uh, like, stalling with recovery, you can use, uh, X to boost your attacks. I see. Roger that. Heh. <laughs> Gotta love the holocaster. I can get updates on my mission in real time with this stylish device. Whoever thought this thing up must have been one truly stylish individual, too. And on that note, it's time for me to scram. With style. He just walked off normally. Hey, you're ruining it for him.
Magus Shadow Punch! Spell. Whatever will I do? Ember. Save so one floor and call mine, but call mine increases special attack and special defense. Hello, Pro Gunk, who I'm four times effective against. What are you going to use, lady? <laughs> the edge is nothing because you're dead. Hippopotas. I have Isaac. Isaac, you should be good against this. Take down. Risu. How do I put this nicely? 
That sandstorm's gonna kill you before it kills me. <laughs> the Endure does nothing! <laughs> Geosenge Town is the town of stones. I mean, okay. Hear this, Pipsqueak. Team Flair is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win with Flair. Why would you just announce? Q, was someone from Team Flair here just now? No. You don't need to protect me. I chased the Team Flare Grunt here. But the only thing past here is a dead end. There's something weird about Team Flare. Is it the way they dress? Cause it, it, it's probably the way they dress. Ah, darn that. Darn this inconspicuous pile of rocks. And nothing else. Lucario, what are you doing? Hey, you're that trainer from Route 5. A woof. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? So, I have two Lucario. But do you know which one has taken a shine to you? God, sword stance, Lucario. That that could hit hard. Or it could just, you know, with with its turns.
W what Not even my ultra-powerful Lucario duo could stand up to you? Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader in Shalor City? Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. So stop by and say hello. And while we did just handle that battle and there's a whole world waiting for us, this is where we're going to call the episode. We've already collected four Pokemon and Ivysaur. And yeah, our team is uh, almost done. We'll probably finish the team next episode unless... Well, we're at least going to get one more Pokemon next episode. But yeah, so far this, this has been a fun adventure. One last sip. One last sip, okay. Actually, that is the end of the of the water bottle. <sighs> That's the end of that bottle. Okay. Negative one sip. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> But we'll end things here. I hope you all had a wonderful time. Uh, I don't know how X and Y are for you guys. This is the first Pokemon game to do 3D in a mainline game. I'm using the words mainline game because Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness is a decent game. Pokemon Coliseum, less so, but still charming. And yeah, th this has been better than I remember it. I I definitely did not think this was going to be a bad game, but it's definitely about what I thought. My, my big problem is that with the inclusion of the EXP share, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't been switching off of Karama, like, at all, because Karama's the one I equipped the amulet coin to. So I'm getting double money for Karama being out front, and everyone is... Everyone gets XP. <laughs> so I'll, I'll definitely try to mix things up as we go forward. But that will be next time. Until then, this has been your host, Kazaraspel. Hoping to see you in the next video or live stream. And signing out.